Hi everybody. Thanks again for joining me with another video. Um, so this one is about uh, different brain retraining programs. And um, so this is my experience with the uh, DNRS and the Gupta program. And I know a little bit about some of the other programs. And this is strictly my opinion. And just like if you were wondering about you know which movie to go watch you'd read a whole bunch of movie reviews understanding that you know different people have different experiences and different opinions and um, so I invite you to check in a check out a whole lot of different re reviews um, in the rewiringyourwellness.com website that I've got listed in the video description uh, Luann Hopkins does a great uh, review I think she's got four blogs about different retraining programs and what would which one might be the right one for you um, so this one is uh, this is my opinion and I'm doing this video because I've had a, a lot of people message me uh, particularly after my um, my video that I published just before Christmas about my recovery journey using brain retraining so um, I, I'm trying to give sort of a very sort of objective difference that I see between the different programs but also um, what I used and how and and uh, why um, now I am not a brain retraining coach I'm not affiliated with any of the programs and um, I'm not getting any money kickbacks or anything like that um, and uh, it's it's strictly my opinion and I still um, hold myself very highly to my code of ethics even though I'm not a uh, practicing physical therapist anymore that I, I do really want to first do no harm in that um, you know this this is my opinion and this is my experience because so many people have messaged me and asked me for it um, but you know please take it with a grain of salt because what has worked for me may not work for you and what did not work for me may work for you so please um, try and seek out a number of different opinions and uh, some different uh, videos etc and to try and sort of decide what is best for you in your journey now I will put in the video description some of my favorite uh, links because um, Ashok Gupta who is the CEO and founder of the Gupta program he's done a lot of um, interviews and talking about his brain retraining program so and the first few um, videos of his program is actually are actually on YouTube so you can actually check them out um, I'm also going to list um, some YouTube links about with Annie Hopper the uh, founder um, of the DNRS program and her interviews and so you can take a few you know take a look and see what her style is like and what kind of information she has and um, I've, I've got a few other um, links in the video description about some of the other programs okay so um, again please take what I say with a grain of salt and weigh it and see if it resonates with you and um, you can uh, DNRS community uh, forum members can message me on the DNRS community forum and uh, other brain retrainers uh, or people who have not started the brain retraining <laughs> can you say it? brain retraining journey um, can use uh, Facebook Messenger so just use Messenger and it will um, message me on my uh, um, through Facebook and um, my messenger app has been having a, a, some difficulties with downloading messages and so I've been getting messages a month after they've been uh, sent so I will put my uh, Instagram account um, in the video description as well I, I do not post on Facebook or Instagram um, social media just doesn't uh, besides YouTube <laughs> it doesn't resonate very much with me so I don't post I just use those accounts to get messages from other people so um, I welcome you to contact me um, through any of those other means okay so um, rewiring programs okay so um, my experience is um, mainly with the uh, Gupta program and the DNRS program so um, and the Gupta program 
um, is, uh, to my knowledge, the uh, oldest of the brain retraining programs that I'm aware of. Um, I think the lightning process might be a few years older, but um, I'm not I'm not well versed in that program, so I'm not gonna not gonna do it a disservice by talking about it. Um, so the Gupta program. Um, so Ashok Gupta rewrote his first paper, his first hypothesis, um, and was published in 2002 about the amygdala and the subconscious um, conditioning of fear in the brain and how it caused all these different uh, issues. And the Gupta program, it looks like this. I'm going to pull out my... Now this is the, um, the first version. Um, he's come up with a, a newer version, which is uh, more simplified and more streamlined. But the uh, first version, you know, was it came out in the early two thousands, and um, it is the most uh, well researched of the of the retraining programs, and um, to my knowledge, is the only one that has a randomized, uh, controlled uh, clinical trial. So. Um, and I will talk about the research behind the Gupta program with my research with Lorelei mini series. So um, I'll go into more of that um, in a different video. But um, so that's the Gupta program. Um, he does have uh, one article that I will talk about is um, this was um, by Louis uh, Laurent Toussaint. Um, it's called. Um, a mind body technique for symptoms related to fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue um, that was published in uh, 2012 and uh, it was uh, I put the um, a link to the article in the video description but um, that was in conjunction with the Mayo Clinic um, and it, it showed good results of improvement um, there was uh, 44 patients um, in the study, and they showed uh, statistic statistically significant improvement in scores for physical health, energy, pain, symptoms, um, fatigue, using the amygdala retraining um, and mind-body techniques over the control group. So that was uh, published in, again, I said 2012, and um, Ashok's program also was uh, published in 2020 in the very prestigious Journal of Clinical Medicine. Uh, it's by uh, Santa Maria Matso, and it, um, it is a mindfulness-based program. Um, and it showed, again, very good results with using the Gupta program with... Uh, you know, great improvement. Uh, I got the. I've listed all the numbers in my December video, um, my my video entitled um, "My Recovery and the Research Behind It," um, and I'll put the link to that video um, in the video description. So that um, that is basically the Gupta program. Um, I find the Gupta program, so what happened was I first started with the Gupta program and it appealed to me because he has a sort of very scientific mindset and I really needed sort of the science behind brain retraining and mind-body techniques because I, I want, you, you need that, you need the belief and the energy and the work ethic to, to go all in and say, okay, this has good science, good research um, behind it, and I'm going to give it a try. And oh, there was one more um, paper that I didn't print out. Uh, so he did a, a clinical survey, uh, a clinical record survey. So he took a certain number of files over a two-year period and said, okay, out of all the people that you know purchased my program, how many get better? And that is one thing that um, his program has, the data and the research that I, I do believe that none of the other programs have. So he came up with about 67% of uh, 
people who bought the program, took the program, improved, which is pretty dang good. So, um, so I thought when I first started on this journey, you know, 67%, that's a pretty good, um, success rate that I'm going to improve with the Gupta program. And so I started on that journey. Now his program has got sort of a large toolkit of various different tools. And in his second newer version, he's tried to simplify some of those tools, but, um, you know, he has, uh, that what's called the amygdala, I can't even say it, amygdala retraining uh, technique or steps, um, ART, amygdala retraining technique. Um, and so th that's one of his primary tools. He also uses a lot of meditation and um, he has alternate uh, nostril breathing and he's got um, parts work. Um, for many of you who know about um, counseling and uh, psychology, uh, dealing with different parts of you, uh, inner child work. So he, he's got sort of a, and he has a, he, ha, he uh, had a Meaning of Life app that was free for quite a few years. And that's rolled into his new app right now, which is the iRise app. I believe it's $13 a month. Um, where he's got the Meaning of Life app. He's got a lovely spiritual component to his program, um, at which he does talk more fully into the in his Meaning of Life app. He has uh, sort of weekly laughter yoga sessions on his iRise app. He has guest speakers that come in on the iRise app to talk about different things. He has, he, he, he puts out, um, videos probably every week or two to support uh, brain retrainers in life. So when uh, COVID happened, um, he did do a series of, of videos about how to handle emotional stress. He's just recently put out a couple of videos on uh, dealing with the Ukraine situation and uh, in how to, you know, make sure we are safeguarding our self-care and our boundaries and trying to, you know, deal with emotional triggering of world events. So um, he's got a lot of tools, a lot of supports. Um, so the Gupta program, it does come with a one year money back guarantee. And um, it comes with um, a 12 week webinar. So you do the course, um, do you watch the DVDs or um, I think his new version, you can get uh, a stick and uh, then you do the 12 weeks webinar with him and or a coach uh, weekly, uh, one to two hours where he talks about some of the um, principles in the um, program and some examples and he'll take questions. And like I said, if it's, if it's not him, it'll be one of his coaches. And um, his, uh, he says his coaches are trauma informed, so they 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 do know about um, dealing with trauma. And I believe his coaches have a two year training pre period, and so it's it's got quite a lot of um, tools in it, um, a lot of meditation, um, and um, so I started that on that program in the beginning of my my journey. Um, however, I was finding that my limbic system and my brain was sort of spinning so much from the fear and stress response, I could not meditate. I, I, it was so hard and I was getting stressed about it. Um, so um, I switched to the DNRS program because it, the DNRS program is um, mainly one tool uh, it does come with a couple of uh, meditations and the DNRS program looks like um, looks like this dynamic neural retraining system it's got um, you know a set of DVDs and it does come with a supplementary DVD DVD with um, a uh, 
uh, creating a state of relaxation and a journey to healing meditation. And um, for me, because my I could not meditate and I was I was just getting overwhelmed. I was um, I had a lot of symptoms in the beginning of my journey. I was in bed most of the time. I had a very limited um, energy envelope, and trying to figure out which tool I needed out of the Gupta toolkit, I think I was overwhelmed. And so I just switched to the DNRS program and just did the DNRS rounds. So the DNRS rounds are very similar to the amygdala retraining steps. Um, so as I said, the Gupta program was in, invented in 2001, I believe. Um, and I believe the uh, DNRS program came into being in 2008. Um, the DRS rounds, or um, what they call rounds, it comes with a floor map and certain actions and retraining steps. It's very similar to the amygdala retraining steps, um, the floor map and, and steps. So, um, however, there's not... Um, any substantial research done on the DNRS program, but there are very uh, a lot of similarities. Um, and for me, the I found that I got a lot more. Um, I was able to focus on one thing. I can do DNRS rounds for an hour, and um, you know I do half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the, in the evening. And because the DNRS rounds, just like the um, amygdala retraining steps, they uh, emphasize visualizations and elevating your mood, I actually got a lot more symptom relief from doing uh, rounds or uh, amygdala retraining steps. Um, but because it was just one thing, I decided to just do that and really work on on uh, the visualizations and uh, it, it, I was getting a lot more payoff because because I couldn't meditate I couldn't get the symptom relief through that um, the uh, DNRS program they also have uh, optional living DNRS classes so I think you sign up for I believe it's 12 weeks and you pay and you there's a coach it's almost like a group coaching session and you can answer you ask questions and you can make friends and and build community and they also have what's called a share share a laugh um which is uh i believe it's nine dollars a month um so it's a uh, one class a uh, laughter yoga class uh once a week and so again you meet other people and you elevate your mood and um, the elevation of mood and laughter yoga as many of you know uh, really helps decrease some of my symptoms and so it's like okay I have a headache and a brain fog but if I laugh for 20 minutes it all goes away well I'm going to do more of that you know so um, I think I did mention that the Gupta program does have um, weekly laughter yoga on its iRise app um, but I think there's a sim so there's similarities and differences between the different the two different programs. Um, the DNRS program um, is is got made more sort of more one tool, and that's the DNRS rounds. And um, I find it also has uh, more emphasis on incremental training. So um, as I said in my um, my uh, recovery with research video that the its conditioning is like um, you know training a Pavlov's dog not to salivate with the bell you have to train with physical triggers and um, more and more difficult triggers to make sure that your limbic system doesn't get triggered and you don't get symptoms so I think for me the DNRS program um, like I said, has one primarily one tool, and it emphasizes more um, elevation of mood, and laughter, and incremental training. And um, both programs have a community. The DNRS program has the DNRS community forum. The Gupta program has a Facebook uh, 
page, a private, a, a private Facebook group. And so both um, have communities. I find that it's easier to get some community support through the DNRS community forum because you know you can ha you have your own blog, you have your own um, page, and you can um, post discussion blogs or post blogs or pose questions. And um, I think I find that there's the the forum itself is easier to navigate on the DNRS side versus the Gupta side. Um, that being said, the rewiring your wellness um, uh, dot com it does offer uh, community support for both types of, of all types of brain retrainers, and it does have WhatsApp informal groups for um, all types of retrainers. Um, the DNRS community has a, a very large sort of underground. WhatsApp and um, social media community, which is not supported by DNRS itself. Um, these are sort of retrainers that have sort of banded together without any approval or, you know, um, support from DNRS itself. And so they form their own uh, support groups. And I've, I'm a member of many of those um, uh, support groups. Um, because, you know, I retrain for a very long time and, you know, when you have a lot of symptoms and a lot of, uh, a long journey, a longer journey than some that I found that I really needed that community support to, you know, to share to ask questions, uh, because coaching in both programs, um, can be quite expensive. And so, you know, the forum on the, with DNRS and the Facebook page, you can, you know, they do have questions and answers and a group knowledge. So it, but it sort of supplemented that, that, you know, on the WhatsApp groups, you can, you know, meet by Zoom or um, you know, make friends and, you know, find buddies to, you know, go through the journey with. And so, w irregardless of which program you use, um, I do um, find that for me, the community support was was extremely beneficial, and um, I think I think it's important um, for people who are wondering about which program is that um, I've had. So I, I I switched back to the Gupta program. I <laughs> should finish my story <laughs> um, as I was integrating. I was sort of delving a lot more into core beliefs and why my limbic storm happened, um, parts work, inner child work. And I was very blessed because I have a clinical counselor who helped me sort of using a brain retraining approach and, you know, trying to figure out why my limbic system was being triggered, why I was f believing that I wasn't safe or why, you know, noticing, um, you know, a, why I didn't feel like I was worthy and, um, you know, all that negative self-dialogue. So the Gupta program does have uh, parts work in it. And, you know, it identifies, you know, the people pleaser and the overachiever and has a great inner child strengthener meditation. Um, so as I switched from sort of elevating my mood and visualizing and, calming my symptoms down and getting my my body to start healing and feeling better then I sort of dove into you know why why did I believe this way what what how why did I respond in certain situations the way I was responding to and causing this overdrive of my fear and stress and worry response and so um so the DNRS program uh, does not deal with parts work. It does not. It it um, it has sort of a list of what they call pathways of the past or common, you know, thinking traps of you know like catastrophizing and um, overemphasizing the negative and um, feel you know beliefs of unworthiness. But 
so to really get into the the meat of it and um I personally really found that I needed um, my clinical counselor and I really appreciated um, the meditations in the Gupta program to try and bring clarity to to those questions and why I I was acting and what you know what I how what I believed etc so um, um, so um, DNRS uh, em uh, emphasizes that you need to do one hour of DNRS rounds per day. Um, the Gupta program it is a little bit uh, more free flowing, but it does suggest that you do your hour of power, which is you know your meditation, your amygdala retraining steps. Um, in the Gupta program there is what they call the three R's where you do one your retraining steps um, two you relax your nervous system and three you re-engage with joy and I'll put a link in the video description by one of their coaches about um, you know sort of the three R's and how the Gupta program works in um, trying to re retrain our brain and thus our, our physiology um, the DNRS program has what they call the five pillars, which is, you know, recognize um, that it's a limbic system impairment, uh, identify your uh, triggers and your pathways of the past, um, you know, your old thinking pathways, uh, completing your one hour of rounds, uh, incrementally training, so incre uh, sort of exposing yourself to increasing triggers and training yourself to not respond in that old fearful limbic path and elevating your mood. So the the, the pr principles of both programs are very similar. They rephrase them um, slightly differently. The um, Gucci program has a spiritual component, which I really appreciate uh, about um, sort of science versus spirituality and that's um, in the reading of life app that um, is now incorporated in the eyes rise app um, i found that really helpful and um you know i, I think I've, I've given you the percentage of success and um, how much people get better with the gupta program because that there's data there um, there is no data with um, any other program that i know of um, so um, I, I can't comment on that. Um, from my own experience and with talking with different retrainers, I have had some people who've tried the Gupta program, switched to the DNRS, and that seems to work better for them. I've had some people tell me they start with DNRS and then they switch to the Gupta program because that program works better for them. I've had people like myself <laughs> who start with Gupta go to DNRS and then go back to Gupta to finish um, their journey. So it's um, it really is completely um, independent of, I think it's, it's, it's whatever works best for you. And um, I don't want to do anybody a disservice by advocating one program over the other. All I know is that it worked for me and I needed both of them. <laughs> and I've had people who, um, you know, who seem to really click with one program versus another. Uh, there is a lot more emphasis on meditation with Gupta. And like I said in the beginning, I couldn't do it because my brain was like a monkey mind and I could not concentrate because I was so caught up in that limbic fear, stress, worry response. Um, I, it'll come back to me. <laughs> I'll carry on. Um, so some people, because I have talked to people, um, brain retrainers who've, who've done both programs because there's a significant number of us. Um, some people find, and myself included, that the DNRS they sort of can almost get to kind of an overachiever, kind of a limbic mode with the DNRS response because it's like, okay, you just do this one thing, do it, do it, do it, and uh, you want to make it perfect, and um, it, your your system almost goes into overdrive, um, 
and you almost can go into an overachieving mode where you're limbically trying to limbically retrain. <laughs> so, um, you know, they have the boot camp approach too, where, you know, they used to have the five day seminar and you just get immersed. Um, and the go to program tends to be slower. And so, you know, you have to decide what's best for your personality, whether a slower approach where it's more easygoing and say, hey, you know, these are all the different tools that you can use, you know, and they have an advocate surrender and acceptance of, of your condition. And, you know, what is this? This is a learning opportunity. What is this here to teach me? They, it's a much um, gentler, I find, approach. So it, 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 I don't know what would resonate with you. Um, and um, for I personally found that there was a lot more practical applications and reintegration back into life with the Gupta program. Like when he starts talking about parts work and how when you're, you know, your your transforming journey is, is closing to an end and you're emerging and thriving back into normal life, how, you know, different parts of you might get re-triggered and how to deal with that. And then also he, he gives these sort of these videos to support brain retrainers and people who are sensitive, uh, empathic, and how to deal with world situations, which I find really helpful. Um, the uh, So I'm going to think that's what, I think that's everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I'm very grateful to both programs because I've been um, truly helped by both programs. And um, I'm hoping that, I know that many of you have limited financial training zones. And so you, you, you know, you want to use your money wisely and say, okay, what, where do I go? What do I do? What do I try? And so that's sort of my two cents on um, the differences between the two different programs. Um, there's a... Um, Two other programs I'm briefly going to mention because I actually have not done them, but I know of them. Um, Dr. Kathleen King's Primal Trust Academy. Um, so she's uh, done her own brain retraining program. I, I'm sorry, no research um, done on that program yet. Um, she does incorporate um, the visualizations, the sort of um, elevation of mood. Um, she also incorporates parts work, um, and um, she also in incorporates uh, body movement more so than the DNRS and the Gupta program. Um, now she was a physical therapist, so I personally did not do somatics or body work because I think intuitively I incorporate a lot of body work with my healing and transforming journey. Um, and um, I don't like to call it a healing journey. I don't know why, why I called it that. Um, my transforming journey. Um, so I personally believe that somatics or, you know, uh, incremental training where you're actually moving your body or laughter yoga where you're actually moving your body with laughter yoga and remaking reassociations and exercising and actually working from the body up mode instead of the brain down. So using the body to influence the mind. Um, I find that very helpful and I think I've sort of intuitively sort of done it on my own um, but the DNRS program does do incremental training uh, as an emphasis and does do laughter yoga and so does the Gupta program um, with the re-engaging of, of joy and sort of integration of back into life activities um, but I, I think some people including myself need sort of more body movement work and I do believe that I've been told that she does do that more in her program. Um, I have done Dr. Kathleen King's free three-day resiliency course. It's um, an online free course. Um, you can just sign up and I found that very helpful and I've uh, listened to a lot of her um, podcasts and uh, watched a lot of her videos on YouTube. I find them very helpful. So there, that is one option. Um, 
the last option I'm going to talk about, which I do not know about, but I've read about, which I um, is the ANS Rewire. It's um, based out of Australia, and um, Dan Neufer, he wrote this book called CFS Unraveled. Um, he, I believe, was a physicist who, who came down with chronic fatigue syndrome, um, and uh, his, his, I, now I don't know that much about his program, but I have read his book, and um, I find there's a lot of similarities between um, his program and the other programs I've talked about. His book, however, uh, really goes into sort of the science, the mitochondrial, physiological aspects of I find it um, triggering, actually, because it goes into all the things that can be wrong with you. Um, and um, so I do caution for people who think that they might get triggered to um, that this book might not be for you. Um, but I have gone on his website and um, to figure out a little bit more about it because the, the purpose of the game, of course, is to get everyone better. And so if DNRS and Gupta are not working for you, well then, you know, there's other things to try. And I do believe that Dan's program does um, emphasize uh, supplements and um, the sort of more mind and body approach to getting your body recovered or, you know, transformed into something much more functional without so many symptoms. And so I have looked and I have had, um, I've watched some of the people's uh, testimonials and uh, I can't believe, I can't remember what podcast I listened to, where there were people who had tried DNRS and Gupta and were doing the sort of seesaw where they get better and um, sort of plateau and then fall back and, and then they switch to uh, Dan's NS Rewire program and that seemed to work for them. But I, like I said, I, I don't have any experience about it. I've just read the book. So, um, and I think that's another um, difference that perhaps the, between the Gupta program and the DNRS program, uh, Gupta does spend one of his videos talking about sort of the eight top supplements that are well researched that may help you get to where you're going faster. You know, like, you know, the documented um, benefits of turmeric and stuff like that. So uh, I think he tries to give people a much more broader view of all the tools that can can help them get better faster. And, and um, I think uh, DNRS does a little bit about diet and um, environmental, you know, using products that are not going to hurt us or the earth. So um, there is some differences there, but uh, personally I find that um, I needed both. <laughs> and um, I really um, found that I needed some body movement um, and uh, um, sort of emphasis on incremental training and, and moving my body and doing um, what the new term now for this whole area of of healing of somatics. Um, I found that very helpful. So um, I think that's everything. I'm going to try and put as many links in the video description as possible. Thank you for your time and your attention this to uh, what was very a very long video. But I, I hope that was somewhat helpful. And um, I'm wishing you all well and um, compassion and joy and peace in your journey. And um, if, if I, and I, I, I do spend um, a fair amount of time um, writing the script and uh, working on these videos. And I, I'm very grateful because financially, my family and I, we have a limited financial training zone. And oh, I'm very grateful we, we have enough you know, for shelter, food and water and health care. Um, my only wish is that I wish I had a little extra to donate to some of my charities that I am firmly supportive of. Um, so if you find any of my videos um, 
worthwhile and you feel called to make a small uh, charitable donation on my behalf, I would so love that. Uh, my favorite charities are uh, World, Wild World Wildlife Fund or any charity that combats uh, climate change and um, the Red Cross humanitarian effort around the world. So if you feel called to make a small contribution on my behalf um, to thank me for the time and the effort that I put into these videos, I would so love it. And if you could take the time to just give me a quick message and say, Lorelai, I donated $5 to Red Cross on your behalf to thank you for uh, your time with the videos. And um, I would really appreciate that. Um, or you can donate to a charity of your choice and um, just message me. Or if you've, um, you're have you at a very limited financial training zone as well, I empathize with you. I understand completely. Um, just pay it forward when you can. You know, just um, if you can make a small contribution with uh, canned goods to uh, your food bank or, uh, you know, just go through your closet and you see an old coat or something that you could donate to an organization dealing with homelessness and poverty in your community. I would so appreciate that. So thank you so much for your time. And I hope uh, my information was helpful. And uh, so I'll be continuing with, uh, like I said, I think around three videos with the Research with Lorelei mini-series, and I hope you join me on that. Um, other than that, uh, wishing you joy and peace and love and laughter. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.